Hello and welcome to your funky honky. And it's time to break out the cold ones, cause this is Let's Play Strong Batch Cool Game for Attractive People. That's right. Um, long story short, I was Check at... Check me out! Yes. Uh, long story short, I was at the Best Buy to pick up uh, Dragon Age Origins, which I did pick up, and saw this on the shelf and absolutely had to... That was more than a little weird. I absolutely had to buy it. I'm a big fan of HomestarRunner.com, and particularly Spemails. And um, this game, I remember this game got pretty decent reviews from PC gamers, so I was like, okay, I gotta get it. <clears throat> so I did, and now I'm going to play it for you. This game is a lot of fun and very, very... I'm ready for my close-up! Funny. So, enough of the uh, jibba jabba. let's go! No, no, no game! And of course, just like the menu... Save load! ...on the website... Settings! They Quit it! ...say something for the buttons. Next time on SBCG 4 AP. You, you get no game! <laughs> and this time, it's not the same thing each time. Saving and loading! Settings? Quit it! Scenes from the next episode! And one thing that's really good about Wait, this game... is it my turn? You have the option of turning on hints, which will actually influence the dialogue of the people that you talk to. You know, the lowest, you know, all the way down, they're not going to tell you very much. On high, they'll pretty much give it away to you. It's, uh, it, it's really handy for when you get stuck. But now, enough further ado, or without any further ado, let's get going. New game. Uh, nah, I'm not going to show off the tutorial. Uh, rhino, rhino feeder. Uh, oh, I, 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 I was dreaming about muffins. I wake up every morning feeling awesome. Even though I slept on the remote again last night. Ow, time to tear up another day. This strong bad freaking way. Like an imploding star, like a burning car. My style shines so bright. Please stop trying to handle my style, cause you can't. No, you can't uh, handle my style. Seriously, quit trying to handle my style, unless you're a lady. Oh. Then you're cordially invited to have a giant slice of my style. Yeah. I'm gonna check my email, my email, my email. I'm gonna check my what? Dear Strongbad, I've got a question. If you hate Homestar so much, why don't you just beat the snot out of him? Are you chicken or something? Confust, N-E-M, Frenchtown, California. First of all, I don't think a Frenchie like yourself is in any position to be calling anyone chicken. Comprendez-vous, cordon bleu? Secondly, I'm pretty sure I don't want to beat the snot out of Homestar. I mean, have you ever listened to the guy? He's obviously got a lot of gunk up there. I could probably handle beating the tar, the stuffing, or the into next week out of him, though. <laughs> I bet I could find Homestar down at Coach Z's track, running in place or something. Yep, and so that just got added to our map. I'll show you that later. For now, this is just your standard point and click adventure. That's where I keep discs 1 through 24 of all my favorite games. Yep, you, you click on something, and either you pick it up or he says something amusing. Ah, my trusty steed. Stooley, I'd ride you into email battle any day. Sometimes more amusing than others. I can't unplug the Lappy. It takes five to seven business days to fully charge the battery. Lappy don't charge on weekends. Not on weekends. I pulled up that sign, but the stupid walls are still loafing all the time! Those stupid, stupid walls. Today's the day I finally give Homestar his long overdue pummeling! This calendar is your... This is what you're supposed to be doing, stupid. And now, let's activate the rave Check switch! this out! <laughs> ah, I sometimes get tired of that. Not me! Yeah, I'm definitely tired of that. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm definitely tired of that. Okay. I'll leave it alone then. 
Intriguing. Yes, it's a light switch. You're going to say the same thing? Not so intriguing. <laughs> You're going to say the same thing? Intriguing. Ah, but yeah, anyways, you're repeating yourself. Hey, Strong Sad. Hey, Strong Sad, you in there? Yes. Come on, let me in. I just want to punch you a few hundred times. Not interested. Oh, come on. Come on, Strong Sad. I've got your favorite food. Some nasty ethnic food. I don't believe in favoring one food over another. Come on. Strong Sad, Raymond Jenkins, you open this door right now or I'll... 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 You'll what? Oh, we'll just wait till your father gets home and see what he says. You're not even my real mom. <laughs> Fine. I didn't want to go in your purple room of doom and gloom anyway. Strong Sad, Raymond... Okay, now they're repeating themselves. Fine. Yes, if you right-click, it allows you to skip dialogue. Which, when you get stuck, is going to be happening a lot. This is Charlemagne, Strong Sad's plant. It used to be healthy, but after Strong Sad started talking to it, it decided to kill itself. That's not true. That's not what the note said. <laughs> All right, let's check the fridge. Hit me with your best food shot, fridge of mine. The only thing in here is some paleolithic fluffy puff mayonnaise. Looks like some fat buddy needs to go to the store. It was my turn last time. Um, are you going to say the same thing? Ew, that mayonnaise is so ancient, its expiration date is chiseled on a stone tablet. Huh. You're going to say something different this Hit time? Hit me with your best food shot, Fridgem. The only thing in here is some... Okay, yeah, you're repeating yourself now. Um, apparently... I can't use the wavy mic. Its door's stuck shut with nacho entrails and mangled action figures. Oh, let me tell you. I have beaten this... I beat this episode once. So I'm going to have to try and remember how to do everything. I did look at an FAQ, not for, uh, and not till after I'd beaten it, but not for how to beat it, but, um... I'll do the dishes once our skeet shooty flinger gets fixed. For, here, let me just go ahead and show it to you now. Let's see. Now, where should I put the track on my map? Um, we'll put it there. This is your map. You put your locations on here, and that's how you, what you use to travel in between them. But... You know, you can put them anywhere you want, and you can even move them to wherever you want on the map. Uh, we're going to be as far away from the track as possible. Just for the hell of it. Okay. Um, but anyways, there's... Oh, yeah, I was going to show you. The collectibles. You've got things... You've got Coach Z trophies to work towards. Four pages to the Snake Boxer 5 manual, which you, I'll, you'll explain, be explained in a bit, and 14 Girl Squad cards, which will also be explained in a little bit. And you do that to get to the uh, ultimate awesomeness level. We'll get there eventually. For right now, as you can see, we've got nothing. So, let's go ahead and what does the CD spinner do? Let's just see what's in the old CD spinner. Oh, it's Strong Sad's copy of the best of Brit Pout, the 90s years. Mm, no. Sounds like Coach Z has forced another one of his demos unto the world. That's nice. Is that it? One, two? Okay. I've had just about enough of that. Let's see what else is in there. Oh joy, it's that copy of Jane's ostentatious chamber music jam. I'd like to use this CD as a chamber pot. Mr. Dawson! Oh. <laughs> uh. oh, what's this? The cheats assorted Latin rhythms? Hey, this is kind of catchy. You gotta see it when Strong Mad shotguns one of these things. Yeah. Strong Mad is the guy who just poked in for people who aren't familiar with Homestar Runner. Um, and yeah, that is a keg of melonade. And yes, Strong <laughs> Strong Mad could shotgun one of those. Uh, smoke detector. That smoke detector hasn't had a battery since that day I made Strong Sad eat a 9 volt po boy. That smoke detector. Yeah. Window. 
Sometimes, I like to stand in front of my window and start flexing in case a girl's volleyball team is walking by. Always a noble goal. I know it's hard to tell from this angle, but the view from here is awesome. You wouldn't think since we're on the first floor and everything, but the drop off from this window is like 20 feet or something. Huh. You wouldn't think. And the Lux Lounger. The Luxa Lounger is even more comfortable in its ridiculously overextended mode. The Luxa Lounger is great for all my lounging based needs, but man, does it take up a lot of real estate. Yep, and we're gonna have to end it there because I'm about out of time. This has been your Funky Hulky with Strong Bad Cool Game for Attractive People, Episode 1, Part 1. Stay tuned for Part 2, and I hope you'll see me next time.